Hey guys, Valerian here. This is episode 8 of my Hive Mind playthrough. So before we begin, normally I would edit this in text, but since this is an unedited video, I have to let you guys know verbally that if you want to support my channel, I have a video that tells you all the things you can do. I'm very active in Discord, so joining that and interacting to grow the community is a huge help and you don't even have to pay a dime. If you like this video, you can give me a super thanks. It is a one-time way of tipping me if you really like my video and think I did a good job. There's also, uh, you can join and become a member now. I have that set up uh, at the time of shooting this video. I just made partner, so uh, yeah. I, again, you know, smash that join button. You know, if you think I did a good job, it's a great way of supporting the channel. Anyway, with that, let's continue. So it is year 2296. It is almost into mid game. And uh, when we left off, we had about 283 alloys and we had 600 energy credits and 300 uh, monthly minerals. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, and last episode, we uh, tributized the empire to the north that I was thinking about going to war with to subjugate, but I went ahead and just did it diplomatically, which I'm going to, I'm going to say right now, despite my videos, despite everything I've done, I, I do in my videos and, and this gameplay here, like it, it's, it's fun to vassalize empires, but I, I also as a still, as a Stellaris YouTuber, I guess that's what I am now. Um, I also believe that the the current vassalization mechanics, like being able to vassalize empires just by talking to them is not like, I don't think that's cool. Like, I I disagree with that. I, I'll play it and do it, but like, you know, and, and it is fun. It's just, I think it's too overpowered to be able to diplomatically vassalize someone. Now they have... Now, Paradox has worked a little bit to change that, but I think, you know, they, I think they need to do a little bit more work on the vassalization mechanics because I think it should be, I, I don't think it should be a lot more difficult to vassalize someone, especially if they're your friend, but it definitely needs to be more difficult than it is right now. It's still way too easy to vassalize someone diplomatically. Um, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so we've got orbital rings, which is great. Got an orbital ring for energy credits. We have an orbital ring for alloys. We have an orbital ring for minerals. And soon we should have an orbital ring for unity, but not yet. We have a lot of planets that are terraforming. So we are... We are like uh, terra the terraforming master right now. So, yeah, we have a lot of planets. We have a lot of planets. I'm trying to get more industrial planets. I've been pumping out Unity Worlds. I'm thinking about, you know, we have a lot of influence now. So we'll see what we do with that. It's actually not making any alloys right now. That planet wasn't. I wonder if I do anything about that. So So we can't upgrade this orbital ring yet. They're at 24 pops. We need 25 pops to be able to upgrade the Hive Nexus so that we can upgrade the Orbital Ring and get more alloys. So we could probably... So I'm looking at more Orbital Rings here. Looking at my Unity Worlds. I could upgrade the Synapse building. The, syn the Synapse. Yeah. Gonna make Synapse clusters. 
because we have a lot of energy credits and we have a lot of food. So we can, you know, we can just spam synaptic nodes. We have a lot of minerals, so we could spam uh, research uh, labs. All right, I'm just wondering if we can upgrade our habitats yet. Looks like we still have to some more research to do. So I'll choose crack the egg on that one. We have a lot of alloys, so probably, I think I want to rename this. We'll see what we do here. I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to rename this. Just name it Torpedo Disruptor. Just Torpedo Disruptor 1. And I'm going to hit that Reinforce Fleet button. That's a lot of cruisers. Cruisers are ex cruisers are expensive. They are. Council agenda speed minus 10%. Oh, that's a terrible trait. Looking at my industrial worlds here or my forge worlds. Yeah, see the whole time I didn't have I didn't have that favorited, so they weren't the jobs. The pops weren't being put on those jobs. And I can out upgrade my alloy mega forges. So I can get even more alloys. So we we should be getting more alloys here real quick. Move some tile blockers. Now that we've researched, did the appropriate research. So we could build more industrial districts, but actually we are out of minerals now. So the spirits have granted us we'll have to wisdom. wait for our minerals to gather. Looks like we finished our society research. So we've we finished habitability. We could get the could get the volcano. <clears throat> could get the tile blocker or deep crust engineering. Then there's automated the curating vault, and then there's more habitability. But that's a little expensive. Leader lifespan is tempting. Yeah, there's auto curating vault. I'm thinking if I'm going to do that or not. It's a tough choice, really. They're, like, all good, most of them. Yeah, but we'll take the curating vault. Just run the clock here. Complete. All right, so that's that's a non-event or event that really doesn't do anything but RP, which don't care for. But okay, just looking at my Unity worlds. Okay, I think we can. Let's see what we do here. Yeah, let's make another synaptic node. Our archaeological uh, site. Archeol I can't I'm butchering this. Archaeological archaeological site is finished. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um This is horrible. I usually don't really do xenobiology. Because supposedly, I've heard this from others, that it causes a lot of lag. So I'm like, I don't want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. So we're at 1.4k alloys. That's a little low compared to what we've been getting lately. Uh, but we, you see it jumped up, just jumped up from 280 to 312 alloys. So our alloys are increasing, so that's good. Let's see, I'm thinking here... What are we going to do? Just looking. 
Okay, yeah, let's build some hyper relays. Mass effect. Now, mass effect is a is a uh, wormhole. That's that's true mass effect right there. Yeah, we got plenty of influence and plenty of alloys. We could start ramping up our high our uh, hyper relay network. Our space highway. What are we doing now? So we're looking at our science vessels, looking at our leader leader pool to see if, I think we're seeing if we can get, yeah, we're gonna recruit some more scientists because we wanna stay at cap for leaders. Uh, at least that's what I like to do. Yeah, let's switch it up to investigate anomalies and archaeology and special projects. We got 313 influence. Okay, so we got our science ship selected. And looking at our shipyard. Like to make some... Yeah, we'll make a science ship. We'll just have to wait till those uh, cruisers are done. And we're also going to make some construction ships as well. Looks like we got another tradition available. That's good. Okay, so we need one more tradition to finish the tree. Going to select our construction ship. And we're going to build another hyper relay. Our food's full for once. It's about time that we had no food problems. <laughs> I'm not too worried about capping out there. All right, definitely going to take research assist. Anything that increases that is a good thing. Don't really care about living metal. It's way too expensive and hard to use. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right, got new research. Good. Let's see what we got. Okay, advanced habitat is done. I'm thinking so there's armor torpedoes. There's citadel. There's zero G refineries for more mining output. But we're gonna pick armor torpedoes. Yeah, because we need our disruptor cruisers to be as deadly as possible. Alloys are about the same. So I'm just thinking what we're going to do here now. It's 2297. We're very close to mid game, to the mid game switch. We've got 18 exotic gases to work with. I think, I wonder if we'll do something about that. So, but right now we're making uh, mining districts. We wanna upgrade our minerals, wanna up our minerals even further so that we can make things like strategic resources and most importantly, research labs and make more research. So let's see how we do that. Looks like our mining jobs is capped out. We we need to make more volatile moats. Tired of being at zero. Okay, so we're selecting this planet 
and we're going to, I think we're looking at chemical plants. Yeah. So we're going to make some chemical plants. I'd still like to get more unity at some point. Wow, that's a lot of tile blockers. Yeah, let's clear some of that. The faithful have claimed a new world. Okay, got a new planet. Nice. So this has a lot of farms, has a lot of agriculture districts. I'm tempted to make turn this into a farm. But it also has a lot of generator districts. Although I really have a lot of energy right now. But later on, I will need all that energy and then some. Like I'll use I'll be using so much energy towards the end game that like even a Dyson sphere won't be enough. I'll still have to make generator planets and habitats and stuff. So so let's see what we do here, thinking about this. But at the same time, we want to stay ahead of food. But we are doing pretty darn good on food right now. So let's see what we do here. All right, yeah, we're so we're going to pick the energy grid. The Make it a generator world. Okay, we got new research. There's advanced combat roles. There's gateway activation. I think we need to pick gateway activation. Yeah, let's do that. Another event. Okay, for 4,500 engineering research is nice. Make our engineering research quicker. I think we're researching torpedoes right now. Yeah, let's make uh, more hyper relays. Hyper relays are really nice. We've almost, we're really close to completing our network here. We have to expand a little bit more to the west. We have to expand our hyper relay network a little bit more to the west, but a little bit more to the east. Other than that, it's it's mostly finished. It's about eighty percent done. Okay, so we got a lot of energy credits, so we're going to go ahead and uh, terraform some planets. Looks like we only have enough for, for that one. Okay, another event. Bunch of our bunch of our planets just finished terraforming, so we're going to colonize them. Yeah, we're just, we've been getting planets left and right constantly this whole game for like the past hundred, hundred in-game years. That's crazy. The faithful have claimed a new world. Yeah, so we got another planet. Yeah, so we got constantly got planets terraforming, got constantly got planets colonizing and finishing colonization and yeah so what are we going to do with this planet it looks like it's going to be a mining world yeah so let's set that and our strategic resources are red right now i don't know what's going on there all right so we have a a lot of our research labs are upgraded so we'll probably need to think about setting up some research habitats. Okay, so, all right, now we can make a habitat. I make a big mistake here. I actually need to make this habitat on a planet that has a research deposit on it, but I forget here. So yeah, future me talking. Yeah, like this is, 
Yeah, so unfortunately, I'm going to build another another habitat until I realize, oh, wait, I, I need to build these on on research deposits. So luckily, I only build like two habitats before I realize that. So it does set me back a little bit. But these habitats I make, I probably could make... I probably could turn them into industrial habitats the spirits have granted for us new wisdom. make them a make them a forge habitat. All right, so we got fleet command limit. We have starbase capacity. We have capital buildings, and we have a tile blocker. The tile blocker is cheap. The capital buildings resource is okay. It's not very cheap, but we have naval capacity. But if I was to get something, it probably would be... Let's see. I want to I wanna pick the fleet command limit, but the capital buildings resources is pretty powerful too. It's kind of hard to decide. Kind of the kind of the analysis paralysis going on here, but honestly, the the tile blocker's cheap, so we're just going to go ahead and pick that. Looks like we're out of volatile moats again. Oh, we're missing a scientist. Oh, let's go ahead and recruit one. Not really any good traits here to pick from. Not that it matters. Most of the scientist traits are garbage anyway, I think. <laughs> I, I usually don't share my opinion on YouTube, but there it is. I think I think scientist could traits could be a little bit more powerful than they are right now. Situation log on uh, graveyard expedition. Another situation. Yeah, so construction ships are building our our hyper relay network. That looks that's a lot of research. That is a lot of research. Let's go with that. Okay, so we're just uh seeing what we can do here. I think we're going to build more hyper relays, but I'm not sure. We've got a science vessel over here in the west. We got planets colonizing. This one's building an orbital ring. That one has no orders. Yeah, let's just build another hyper relay. We need to go west and carve out a path there. More resource deposits. Yeah, it's a, it's it's kind of unfortunate that I, I build the habitats in the wrong place. I probably could pick a planet and build more research labs on that planet. But make, making a research planet is kind of a waste. Blocker cleared. You know, habitats are pretty much always useful, even if you wisdom. build them for, by accident. <laughs> they you can always do something with them. They're real. They're really good for forges. They they make good forges. They make great, you know, agriculture worlds. In fact, that that's that was my first habitat was for food because I was so low on food. I was like, man, I need a habitat right now for food 
So our subject changed into a protectorate doesn't really doesn't really seem to make much of a difference that I can see. It's not really going to make an impact on what I'm doing right now. Yeah, see, it, nothing's changed, so I don't know what the big deal is about them being a protectorate. I guess it's they're so weak that compared to us that, like, they can't be a vassal. I don't know. I don't completely understand some of these mechanics. I, I understand a lot of them, but, like, you know. And, and I also have ADD, so... I, I do tend to forget things that I that I usually am aware of. So anyway, I don't care about those faction notifications. Looks like an orbital ring finished and a Kathia system. I think I'm pronouncing that right. You can never tell if you're pronouncing these names correctly or not. Yeah, so this is this is gonna be for mining. What am I doing here? Okay, we got four volatile moats. Yeah, let's upgrade the hubs. Uh, let's look at our population. Yeah, build another mineral or mining district. Okay, we have we have a refinery. So it looks like we just built the the refinery building for the orbital ring. So we should start getting a lot more minerals, hopefully. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. So we got habitability, we got conflicts of thought. I don't, don't really think that's good. Resources, 5%. That seems pretty... Yeah, that's too good to pass up. Okay, more events. Okay, so we're going to bring our military fleets back to back to base so they can dock and I'm not so I'm not spending as much resources keeping them around. I'm going to keep making hyper relays. Our influence is a little low. Yeah, we spend a lot of influence on those orbital habitats. Okay, and we're just going to keep building them. What to do next? Okay, there's we have a rocky world here. Terraforming candidate, and we have enough energy credits, so we might as well do it. We only have a thousand energy credits left, but uh, we have 700 monthly energy credits, so it really doesn't matter. We could go a month or two with being low on energy credits, we'll just get it right back. I wonder how soon we'll be able to get Hive Worlds. I don't think I want to take it on the next Ascension perk. I, I think I'm probably I'm probably going to take Genetic Ascension for our next Ascension perk. Still doing good on food. Minerals is threatening to get low, but compared to where we were. Construction complete. More events. 
Okay, our star based finished. Look how fast those military fleets are going. We got a colony ship heading over to a green planet over on the left. Let's see. What are we going to do with this construction ship? Yeah, we can definitely build another hyper relay. The faithful have claimed a new world. All right, got a new planet. Let's see, this one probably going to make this an industrial world, I'm guessing. Most likely, but we need to do the offspring nests first. Yeah, it has no mineral districts. It's got a little bit of agriculture districts. Yeah, we're just going to build an alloy foundry. Build a couple industrial districts and then a hive district and call it call it a day there. Looks like we got to level up. Make sure to make this a forge world. There we go. Let's see. Efficiency, anomaly research speed, and then there's minerals, which I never take, and leader lifespan. Uh, we'll take the we'll take the research. That's usually the best thing to pick. Because we're in that stage right now where we're researching anomalies. Blocker cleared. All right, so we're at 330 alloys. Thinking they're probably we could probably get some more with these new alloy worlds that we're making. Foundry worlds. So we're selecting our construction ship here. It's building a habitat. It's about 38% done. Okay, let's go to fleet management and let's see, should we reinforce our fleets? Yeah, let's let's reinforce our fleets. And we're just gonna we're gonna get naval capped. That's what we're gonna do. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We are okay, worker declaration. Don't really care about that. All right, new tech. We got we got new armor, which is good. So I think it's, we got Citadel and we've been passing on it over and over again. And we need to get Citadel if we want to get mega structures. So yeah, it's, it's time. It's time to research that and get that out of the way. Okay, another special project. Situation log updated. So... We're at the ship designer. We're gonna make sure that we got armored torpedoes. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got armored torpedoes, so we're good to go. It's it's upgrading like it should be. Sometimes it doesn't upgrade, and it thinks that I didn't check mark the uh, the auto upgrade, which I I always do, and it sometimes it just doesn't register for some reason, or I just didn't click it right. And thought I did. I don't know. Just letting the clock run here. Okay, we got... We got... Uh, engineering research is always good. That's like 5,000. So, man, all these... Researching all these anomalies has really given us a lot of... Just catapulting our tech. We are spreading our faith to a new world. I wonder how powerful we are. All right. Research efficiency, as always. Always get that. Because we're going to use those science ships. Well, some of them to assist research on our research planets. And our research worlds. Like our capital and some of our mining worlds that have research on it. So we're looking around. Got a hyper relay being built. Yep, 
Yeah, so um, a lot of cool things have been happening as I make this playthrough. You know, we got partnered with YouTube, so that is really cool. I've already made a couple bucks. We'll see how, how far it goes, you know. Money isn't everything, but it's it is a thing. And it is important, so however, I've been doing this for years without the money, so you know. So I think I'll be all right. But it's it brings <clears throat> You know, it's it's a new era for me, I guess. It's a new phase of my life. I didn't know they were going to part me, partner me this fast. I I just I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. So, there's fleet command limit. And I think we're going to pick that, but actually you know, no, nah, we need an army. We we need we Welcome need clone army because in case we need to make armies for the future. Well, supposedly you can bombard a planet into submission and they will they will surrender and you can occupy the planet without having to land armies on there. And I think that's really cool. That that keeps the computer from doing a lot of from doing a lot of cheesy crap. A lot of cheesy stuff. Because the computer will just sit there, throw tons of armies on its planet, and just, like, you'll destroy their fleets and totally to overtake them, but then you got to sit there for six years waiting for your armies to go and take that planet over. It's just, it's a logistical nightmare. I mean, I've, I've gotten good at it um, over my time playing Stellaris, but it... Uh, it's always felt clunky to me. All right, so we're looking at our research labs. And, you know, it may be time to up our research. Yeah, we, we definitely have enough exotic gases. So I think we're going to upgrade that. And that, and that. And so hopefully our research jumps up a considerable amount because our empire size is inflating like a balloon. <laughs> and that is not good for us. However, it can't really be helped. So, I mean, we could do, we could get tech that reduces empire size and get civics and all that stuff, but I don't really uh, feel like doing that. I think it would cost me too much to do that when I could get better things. Anyhow. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we're looking at our planets here. Think about possibly buying some more strategic resources. Another useless event. Okay, relay. So this just says that we connected our relay network to our buddy up to the north that likes to pay us resources. <laughs> that likes to pay the piper. Okay, so this construction ship has no orders. I'm, I'm looking at this. Yeah, I think I think we need to make a hyper... The spirits uh, have maybe granted not. us new wisdom. All right, we got research. Let's take care of that first. So there's hyper shields, but it's really expensive. There's space time theory, but that is also very expensive. Let's see. I don't plan on getting invaded anytime soon, so we don't think we need FTL inhibitors. Let's go with hyper shields, so. It'll take a while, but our ships will be more powerful. So even though we only use one shield on our ship designs, but whatever. 
You never know when you're going to get plasma cannoned. Special cannoned. project complete. Okay. So more engineering research. Oh, this one always say why it did that because then it just turns into updated. a monster and turns into a, a space organism that attacks you. You gotta take your fleets all the way over there to, to deal with it. And I think it kills your science ship too. I don't know. It's it's been a bit since I saw that. Oh, our minerals are 398 now, up from 200. So we are doing really good again with minerals. Situation Special project, updated. mining base. Our alloys are still floating around the same. We have a lot of energy credits. Yeah, we have a lot of energy credits, about like... But we're going to keep... I think we're going to make... Are we going to make relays? Okay, we got to level up. I, th I like custom AI assistant. I, th I think that's the best one. But I got to look at everything, you know? Heretic fleet engaged. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Well, that was trippy. Okay, so we won a battle. Cool. We researched clones. Ooh, Durasteel infrastructure. I got to get that. I got to get that every time. It's expensive, though. Holy cow. It's got to be our empire size. Yeah, we've we've got to up our research to compensate for having such a high empire size. It is going to pay dividends later on, though, having all these planets. We are going to get so powerful. So powerful. I'm tempted to go for the alloys. But I but then society research would be pretty good too. Get that durasteel infrastructure faster. So let's see what we do here. Thinking let's think about this. Okay, we're gonna go with the society research. Yeah, some of those events are really good. They give really good Benefits. Ooh, unity from jobs, 15%. Hell yeah. Let's do that. Another event. Hmm. So our fleet's just uh, wiped out an alien. Okay, more, more resource deposits. Cool. You know what? Let's make a bunch of construction ships. Okay, that one doesn't have any orders. I can't build a hyper relay there because it's not in my territory. So it might Space be time to... It might be time to claim some new territory. I've kind of stopped because I've been directing all my influence towards things like habitats and hyper relay networks. And I've pretty much got all the planets that I can grab for the most part. Look at all that fleet power. So I think we're going to take all my fleets to, to our goal and we're going to attack to the south of it on that red exclamation mark. Okay, so that requires exotic gases, and we still have a good amount of exotic gases. So let's just, yeah, let's build an auto curating vault. Let's see what else we do here. I would like to get more unity for sure. So we'll build a synaptic node. This one has nine pops. We can't build the curating vault because it doesn't have a hive nexus. So I guess there's not that much we can do there. 
but we do need to favorite that because there was nothing on there. Oh, wait, we need to put, we need an offspring drone. Oops. So our alloys are about the same. I'd like to get them higher, but we have 5,000 alloys, which is really cool. We have good amount of minerals. Our energy keeps climbing, which is really cool. So speaking of energy, let's go ahead and terraform this into a tundra world. Terraform this tomb world too. I think we have enough. Yeah, we do. Okay. Debris analyzed. So it looks like we just analyzed some debris. Not that that really matters that much. It's just something to give our science vessels something to do. Okay, uh, we're just slowly upgrading our star holds. I mean, we have so much naval capacity. We're, we're just now starting to fill it out. So we haven't really had a need to upgrade our star bases. All right, we got our last tradition, and we got our next Ascension perk. You know, cy uh, Cybernetic Ascension is tempting, but I think if you can get it, Genetic Ascension, I think, is a little better. Um, well, I think it's a little better because it's less expensive than Cybernetic Ascension because having your... Having your engineering research wiped out for that long is really damaging. But having your society research locked up for a while isn't a big deal. We could get Hive Worlds, that's true, but I think we're going to get Hive Worlds possibly afterwards. I think Hive Worlds will be next. That or Master Builders. So yeah, let's let's go with genetic ascension. I I think I'm just thinking here if if we should do it. It's I mean ascension perks are a big decision. So yep. All right, let's do it. So the next tradition tree we'll pick it will be genetic. Us new wisdom. All right, we got tech. Citadel's done. Great. One step closer to mega structures. We got Devastator Torpedoes, Construction Templates, looks tempting, but I don't know, Devastator Torpedoes, yeah, it's too good. I, I've got to get, I've got to get more weapons. More weapons is always a priority. We got a planet terraformed. Let's see if we get that. So we're looking at our shipyard. We're going to, I think we're going to upgrade to a citadel. Yeah. Just to make it tougher. Because we can't afford to lose it. Uh, Special project complete. All right. 5,000 engineering research is good. All right. More special projects. Okay, we need to colonize this. There we go. Construction complete. All right, we got our star bases finished. All right, we need to make, we're going to make some anchorages and naval logistics offices. Going to raise our naval cap. And then we're going to build more ships. And then we're going to raise our naval cap. And then we're going to build more ships. And so on and so on and so on. <laughs> I forgot to mute my phone. 
My bad. Well, that's what you get for watching an unedited video. <laughs> you know, I, I forgot to say, yeah, this video is unedited, so um, you may hear noises, you may hear all kinds of stuff, so. But I think so far, so far, other than that, the noise has been pretty acceptable, I think. I'll, I'll have to check after after I'm done recording here, but other than the occasional noise, I, I don't I don't really I think it's it, the noise hasn't been pretty really disruptive this uh, this episode. Okay. Yeah, and every once in a while you get a, a vehicle that's loud as loud as heck for no reason. <laughs> no reason a vehicle needs to be that loud. But hey, that's what I get for living next to a road, right? So yeah, speaking of living next to a road, hopefully hopefully if this channel keeps picking up and you know I you know I this channel grows more and more. I'll get to a point where I don't have to live here anymore. <laughs> I won't have to live next to a road ever again. <laughs> ever again. Never, ever again will I live next to a road. I will do everything in my power not to live next to a road. After this experience with, with this apartment, heck no. So we got a whole bunch of we got a whole bunch of worlds terraformed so that's good what are we going to do next so it's getting close to time i, I want to say before the video ends that um thank you so much everyone for your support what you've done so far has just been amazing. So, you know, but I, I got to put it out there because, you know, I my channel's monetized now. You know, if you if you really like my stuff and you really want to support the channel, man, you can honestly, yeah, the, the joining, the membership's nice and, you know, the super thanks and all that stuff is, is nice, but really, like, what I think is the most important for this channel is my discord. I really would love to see more people in that discord. Um, so if you're, if you're listening to this, like hop on discord, say hello to me, you know, like, Special um, project complete. you know, at the time of this, at the time of this video, that this video was made, you know, my discords, it's all right. It's got people. But there's not a lot of people chatting. If I could get more people in Discord chatting, I think that would really help this channel. I mean, I think almost as much as as the monetary support would. So, you know, because I, I would like to be a part of a community. I think you really can't put a price on a good community, like, you know, a really strong community. Because I have... I can't go into details about it, but I have, I have a really strong community in other areas of my life and to be able to have a strong community of, you know, people that just, that are into this channel and be able to interact with them and just, you know, and be of service kind of in that way. I, and just kind of make new friends and stuff and, you know, because I, I don't, well, for example, right now, I I don't have anybody, I don't have anybody who plays Stellaris. So we're back to the game. We're looking at the Benthurian Berserkers. And I would really like to subjugate this empire or wipe them out, one of the two. I, I would like their, I want their stuff. And nobody likes them. So I could probably conquer them and get and just get naval capped and keep building my naval power and just flood them. <laughs> They're already at war with a couple other empires. All right, so we got 
a couple more planets. But yeah, grow the Discord, guys. Like, let's get in on Discord. Let's, you know, let's get that thing popping. Let's just, you know. But yeah, I, I like I said, I usually don't don't shill, but like, as as my channel grows and I now that I got monetization for my channel, I mean I have to, I'm not I don't have to necessarily rethink it, but it will that that mentality will change a little bit, you know, because obviously I want to make a living off this channel. I think that would be amazing. At the same time, though, I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt you guys and have constant interruptions on the channel and on my videos and make you guys go, Oh my God, this again, you know, I, I have watched so many YouTubers are like, they spend two minutes. Like when, when it's all said and done, the sponsors, the, the, the pitches and, you know, talking about everything they, they've spent like two minutes of the actual video and and like it's just man i don't think it needs to be that long anyway that that's just me that's my opinion um you know that so that's i like to give it to you guys straight and cut to the point so we've got a lot of minerals so i think we're just dumping our minerals right now buying a bunch of buildings dumping our minerals into buying more minerals. Your mineral purification hubs. I believe we're good on volatile moats now. I'll have to go check that sometime. All right, we can upgrade that. So we'll probably put an orbital ring there at some point. Yeah, let's get all these overcrowded planets. Let's build some hive districts on them. Yeah, let's clear these tile blockers. Just cleaning up my planets a little bit here. I probably could have planetary automation going at some point, especially when I go to war with with the berserkers up to the north. I probably could turn on set up automation while I'm doing that. I think they need to set up a better AI with the automation though. I think they need need to make the planetary automation smarter. But it's still great in a pinch. Like if, if you're at war, you just simply do not have time. To, Cause I, look at all the planets we have, you know, there's no way that we could possibly manage all those. We we could possibly micromanage all of those without spending a lot of time. Like I'm I'm already spending quite a bit of time managing these planets. When I could be running the clock. You know? I realize that now. Alright, so that's gonna be a generator world. So we're going to need to click energy grid and make some generator districts. So running the clock. The faithful have claimed a new world. Okay, new planet. This is looking like it's going to be an industrial world let's let's see what we do with it so 
So yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be a forge world. Doesn't have a lot of agriculture districts. So anyway, uh, cool. Um, yeah, I think this was a good episode. This is a pretty good episode. And so we're just going to, oops, we're going to turn this into a forge world. Yeah, I think this is a good episode, guys. It was, um, yeah, you know, changing and growing. This channel is always changing and growing, and I love it. I'm learning new things. And anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time.